Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show you how I make these small baskets. They work up really fast and they are extremely easy to do. Uh, and you can make these in about half an hour and you can use them for all kinds of stuff. Um, you can put all your hooks in them and have a nice place for your crochet hooks. Maybe make them a little bit taller like this one. Um, and you can use them as for the plants and yeah, scissors, I don't know. Yeah, you can use them for everything. And you can make a lot of these baskets for only one skein. So you can use all your scrap yarn to make different colors and so on. I will begin from the bottom and work my way in spirals and then do this uh, sharp edge and then work my way up to the top where I will finish with a row of slip stitches on the edge. So let me show you how to do it. First a little about the materials. I've used this ribbon yarn. You can see it's 100% cotton. All the other info is right here. So you can see it's a bulky weight 5 and you can wash it at a 40 degrees. And this recommends a hook 5 to 6 millimeter. I'm using a 6 millimeter hook, which you can see right here, a 6 millimeter hook. Then I've also used some scissors and a tapestry needle. To begin this, we make a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we chain two, so yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now we want to crochet in the first chain we did, so this one. And we want to do six single crochet into this chain. So you just insert the hook into the first chain, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So that's one single crochet. We want to do six single crochet in the same ring. So just insert the hook in the same stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, Pull through two and continue until you have six single crochet. That's three, four, five, and the last one. Six. So that's it. Now we want to increase. So we do two single crochet in every stitch. So in this first stitch we have one, two, three, four, five, six. In the first stitch we do two single crochet in the same stitch. So insert the hook in the first stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch. So just yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, that's one, then insert the hook in the same stitch and do another single crochet in the same stitch. That's an increase. Then we find the next stitch right here and two single crochet in the same stitch. One and once again Two. Then in the next one, two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two. So we were going from six stitches to 12 stitches because we are doing two stitches in every stitch. So continue like this until you have 12 stitches in total. I think I need one more and then I will count. That's one, two in the same stitch and then 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12. Now we want to keep increasing, but not in every stitch. So in the first stitch, we will do an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. One. Two. And then in the next stitch, we will only do one single crochet. So just insert the hook and do one single crochet in this stitch. Then in the next one, we do two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet. Then find your next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch. Continue like this until you are all the way around and you have 18 stitches in total. You can use stitch markers, it makes it a lot easier to know where you finish the round. But just stop when you have 18 single crochet on top. When we're done with this round, we want to add just one more round. So we gonna want to go from 18 stitches in this round to 24 stitches in the next round. So we will keep the same pattern. We will do an increase in the first stitch. So two single crochet in the same stitch. One. Two. And then for the next two stitches, we will only do one single crochet in each stitch. So insert the hook in the next stitch and single crochet. And then single crochet in the next stitch. And then in this next one, we will do an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. That's one. That's two. And then in this one and in this one, only one single crochet in every stitch. One single crochet, then the next one, one single crochet. And then two single crochet in the next, then one, one, two, one, one, two. Around until you have 24 stitches. And when you're all the way over here, we now have 24 stitches around. Now we have the bottom in place and I just want to give you my measurement. This measures mm, seven and a half centimeters for me in diameter. Now we want to work up the sides and we want to have this as the bottom. So from now on, we will, uh, or for the next row, we will only work through the back loop of the stitch just to make this um, edge sharp. So in this next stitch, we will do a back loop single crochet. So you have the back loop right here. This is your front loop. You will only go through the back loop. So just insert the hook through the back loop and then single crochet. All right, so back loop in the next one and single crochet. And we will not be increasing, so you just work one back loop single crochet in every stitch. Just keep on working the back loop single crochet all the way around. And now you see, because we are only working through the back loop, it makes kind of this like sharp edge around. And we can now begin working in the real stitches in the whole stitch from now on. So it creates kind of like a little basket right now. You can use this as a mini basket. Um, and of course you can just weave in this end. So now we can begin working up the sides and you will just continue with regular single crochet in the stitches. So not in the back loop anymore, just through the whole stitch. So just insert the hook through the whole stitch and single crochet. And then in the next whole stitch, single crochet. 
And then you just work your way around, around and around until you think your little basket is tall enough. Just continue like this, one single crochet in every stitch. And note that it is through both, sorry, through both stitches like this, not only through the back loop. So just continue until you have a tall enough basket for your need. I continued until I had seven rows in total and my basket is around six centimeters tall. Then I want to finish it off with a row of slip stitches. You can see the difference right here. It has a more finished look on the top. So I just continue in the next stitch with a slip stitch. So just insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. In the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And then just continue all the way around with one slip stitch in every stitch. When I'm all the way around, we have this little bump right here. And I just continue just a little bit after this bump. So it will even it out a little bit, so it's not so bumpy. So just continue with a couple of slip stitches in the stitches after the bump. And it's a bit tough <laughs> in this first stitch. That's it. So that helped a bit. Then I will cut the yarn. And pull through. Then grab my huge needle. And then weave in my end. So you see it's it's not perfect up here, but it's okay. It uh, is the easiest way to do it, so I think it's it's worth it. And then I will just secure the yarn on the inside by going through some of these stitches just to make sure that it won't break or unweave. Like this. So, now we can cut the yarn. And flatten the bottom. And that's it. Now we have a little basket. You can make as many baskets as you want in different sizes, different heights. I think they are very cute. So I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!